not really how that works. So no one told you that your checks will be this way. Now that I have that out of the way, hey, welcome back. Uh, I'm Olin. I'm here to talk to you about a couple of things regarding UVS. Uh, I know that a lot of people saw the new announcements and the reveals of the two-thirds of the Attack on Titan cards that are coming out. And that got me thinking, you know, a lot of the content creators out here are going to be talking about those cards a lot. I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I'll play the cards when they come out. Uh, as much as I want to pass judgment on cards that I haven't even played with yet, eh, when the Girl Power cards were released, I was like, wow, audio reverberation? That's going to be cracked. Oh, wow, lightning rod? That's going to be so sick. It's got Deflect 4 on it. Yeah, I was, I was so... Did I expect Sniping Spy to be absolutely dog water? A little bit, yeah. I'm kind of heartbroken over that. Um, UVS, if y'all could really just turn Lady Nagant around, I really need that. The, I need Gun Mommy to be a thing so bad, and I just want her to be a thing. <laughs> so I'm here to talk to you about uh, Attack on Titan and the two-thirds of the cards that are released. Psych. I'm not doing that because you can go to any other channel. You can go to Let's Talk UVS. You can go to um, my friend Cameron's channel under uh, the UVS Hermit. Uh, you can go listen to Tamron Cardwell on his channel. He actually did like a five hour stream of all the cards and all the grading system. I think he actually did a tier list for the characters that are coming out. I'm excited. I was just right there with y'all just watching like every bit of that. Me, I'm not in the place of like... Um, rating cards that are out yet, so I'll have to just kind of hold judgment. However, what I can do is theorize. I can theorize and let's call it a wonderful guesstimation, a educated wish on what will be happening in the next year or so, or preferably what I would like to see with UVS, because we have Attack on Titan coming out. There's two sets that have been confirmed, one for next month and then one for November, I believe. There's also the Star Trek Lower Decks. There's the Tekken 8 set that's coming out, I believe. And it got me thinking, what other properties are out there? So, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the top five choices of IPs I would like to see in the game over the next however many years before the world burns up to oblivion. Anyway, I got to thinking what other properties and IPs are under the Kodansha publication and the manga, much like Attack on Titan. Because now that UBS is actually doing business with them, what are some of the other properties that we could potentially see? Assume. Personally, these are the five that I would love to see in the game because I think that it would make sense with all of the assets and stuff like that. We'll see where it goes from there. Number five. Number five goes to the one and only Fire Force. Now hear me out. Fire Force is still in publication. The manga is, I think it's still going, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the uh, newest season is coming out within a year or two. You have all of the main characters. You have all of the bad guys. You have all of the demons and stuff that you have available to their disposal. Fire Force, I feel like that would be a pretty decent, like, run into um, the the UVS-like universe, I guess. Uh, I think that it would be really interesting to see. Personally, I'm not, like, a huge, huge fan of it, but it's, you know, number five for a reason. But I was also scrolling through their website, seeing what other IPs are actually under that, like, leadership and ownership and stuff that UVS could potentially, like, make deals with. And Fire Force easily hit number five. Number four surprisingly enough, is Go Go Loser Ranger. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with this story, the season one has actually finished, and the manga is currently in the 12th volume, I believe. Um, the easiest way to describe it is, is it's if Power Rangers and the boys were like in the same idea, where what if the Power Rangers were these super-powered beings, but everyone else was just normal people and they kind of started abusing their own power in a way kind of follows that same mentality. Now, as much as I would love to see a power Rangers IP, like actually make the jump into a card game, 
that is a a can of worms waiting to happen. Much like Dragon Ball, <clears throat> much like Demon Slayer, much like um, Bleach or any of the other like Bandai Namco properties that are currently under Union Arena because we're not going to talk about that game. Who knows, maybe in a couple of months I'll make videos about Union Arena. Right now, I'm not really sold on it because I played maybe five minutes of a tutorial thing and I was like, yeah, this is kind of boring. I'm um, not having a good time. Anyway, so that's my number four. Go, go, lose a ranger. I feel like uh, between the artifacts that they have in the manga and the show, that could be like assets. There can be different actions that can be made. Um, the um, Monster D, all of the rangers themselves could be characters. I mean, there's a like there's a lot of stuff there that you can absolutely use without a doubt, and you wouldn't be able to struggle with it whatsoever. Number three. And this may kind of like get on some people's nerves because, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to be real with it because you might as well strike while the iron's hot. And right now, what's really, really hot is Kaiju number eight, believe it or not. It got a slow roll with the uh, the anime kind of going. I know a lot of people were kind of, you know, iffy about the animation style. I think once they look into the manga itself. I prefer a lot of the manga because a lot of the, um, a lot of not only the scenes, but like a lot of the stories, a lot of the characters, a lot of the um, like frames that are shown off in the manga slap. Like they are, there's one where spoiler, no spoiler. Uh, it's in like the first volume of the manga. So you can't really like hate me on this, but Kafka like overhand punch, like Hulk punches a, uh, a a monster or a kaiju, and that thing obliterates. Like, and you, and they have it broken down by like little pieces and details. And I'm like, that would be a fucking dope ass playmat. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm a big fan of it. I feel like that's a solid number three in choices because I feel like that would be really cool. Of course, I would throw so much money at that. It's it's unreal. Number two, surprisingly enough, because I did not know this, under the publication is Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. Now, hear me out. Before, before you get upset with me and say, Sailor Moon ain't gonna fit, I want to paint a picture for you. We currently have Yu Yu Hakusho. And for those of you who do know, or may not know, the creators of Yu Yu Hakusho and Sailor Moon are actually married in real life. I think that that would be so dope to have their two IPs actually cross over like that in a card game format where we can actually see Sailor Moon and Yusuke. You have Hiei and Sailor Mars. You have Kuwabara and Sailor Jupiter. Like, it goes on and on and on. And also, the artwork would... It would be great. It would be so fantastic, in my opinion, in my grand scheme opinion of being a player that has been playing this game for roughly five months and two weeks. I think it would be dope if we see some SRs and some URs and maybe even some like chromes. If I have a chrome Sailor Mercury, that's she's baby. She's baby. I will I will I will protect that little that that small child with my life. I love that character so much. I feel like we could have fantastic work with them. I mean, again, all of the Sailor Scouts have their own like literally their own elements that they work with. So I mean, the symbols are there. The work is there. Like half of the work is already done for them. Like you have all of the assets, think about it. You have all of the you have the mirrors, you have the wands, you have uh, the crowns, you have the, um, I don't know, just <laughs> look at me when I'm doing this. <laughs> like, believe believe me, Sailor Moon could be so dope if we got it as a property. Even if we could get this IP as a Challenger series, hear me out, because it would be so cool to see it on the field, all the stage cards, all the card pool. Anyway. Without further ado, my number one choice is Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. I don't even have to go into explaining why Full Metal Alchemist deserves to be in the UVS system. It's already there. I'll give you a hint. We can have the first Chrome Asset card 
in the Philosopher's Stone. We could have our own, like, V1 ring in UVS, where we could have a one-of-one one Philosopher's Stone in Full Metal Alchemist. UVS, that's a, that's, I mean, it's not a million-dollar idea, let's be real here, we're still a very, you know, small community, but, I mean, that's a thousand-dollar idea right there, like, I, I know some people out there would want a one-for-one one f- Philosopher's Stone Full Metal Alchemist card, and, I mean, of course, you have, you have Ed, you have Winry, you have, um, uh, my boy Roy Mustang, you have uh, Hawkeye, you have um, all of, oh my god, you have all of the Deadly Sins, which I don't want to call them Deadly Sins because they're the the homunculus, uh, you have Greed, you have Lust, you have Envy, you have Gluttony, you have, like, you have all these characters that are already there and you only have to do one set. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, just make it, you know, real tight, real niche, do a one and done set of Full Metal Alchemist, I think it would, and even if you have like, let's say hypotheticals, if you have the Walk the Dogs or the Mop Strikes or even like the Younger Togaros of, you know, Full Metal Alchemist, off the top of my head, you could have like, I mean, Roy obviously is going to be a fire uh, symbol, but (laughs) again, I feel like Charlie from Always Sunny where I'm just like, look man, it could happen because the pieces are there. All you got to do is just, just make it happen. And these are the five that I would love to see in UVS. There, there's nowhere to go but up with this game, especially the way that we format everything. I know that we have Weishwartz. I know that we have Union Arena. I know that we have, um, what's the other one that does crossover stuff all the time? Anyway, Weishwartz is like the biggest component of it. They cross over shit all the time, which... Rightfully so. They still make money. They still sell cards. It is what it is. But UVS can get on that train so quick with people who are interested in like Waifu Simulator 2024. Get all of the Sailor Scouts in there. You have Full Metal Alchemist characters in there. You have uh, Fire Force. And not even I didn't even mention other honorable mention IPs. And the ones that I had written down were like Fairy Tale. There's not a Fairy Tale card game that, or even like little like card card games, I guess. Um, Gundam, there is so much property for Gundam. <sighs> you don't even have to start with the assets of the Gundams. You can have the Gundams be the characters themselves. You can have pilots be characters. Like you can even do, hear me out. Now that you're doing the whole two face thing, if you go into Gundam, you have pilot on one side and Gundam on the other UVS. I'm telling y'all <laughs> it could be so, so dope to see this happen. You could look in other series like cyberpunk. Cyberpunk edge runners in UVS. You know how cool that would be. Anyway, I'm sold on stuff like this, man. Like I get so hyped at the idea of card games that now I have to go back and look and like, ah, okay, we just have my hero and attack on Titan. And then we have uh, star Trek coming out and then we'll have Tekken. But anyway, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, deserves its own, you know, IP or Uh, a side of this card game that we truly love and enjoy. Uh, Without further ado, I'll talk to you guys later, and pass your checks, and don't top deck. See y'all next time.